No, you're not seeing double. This is kind of a follow-up to the Street Fighter Zero 3 video we did. Greetings and welcome to another video. And in this one today, we are doing another episode of Passion for Games. And joining me as usual is Jeff Sasamisa1806. Hello, mate. Hello there. Right, so Street Fighter Zero 3 again, but this time double up on the PlayStation Portable. Yeah, basically. Uh, you were the one that told me about this. I think I told you about the arcade version, which is called Street Fighter Zero 3 or Max, but it doesn't work in main. And essentially, you get a red screen. So you then told me it was on the PlayStation Portable. We downloaded it and had a look at it, and it's actually a pretty good version. It is. It's, it's nigh on arcade perfect, isn't it? Yeah, not only did they add all the characters from Super Street Fighter 2, they also added uh, all the bosses. You can play Yearly and Yearly, you can play uh, Balrog or uh, M. Bison, depending on which version you play. You can play uh, Shin Bison. Uh, you can play, I think you can play Evil Dew, and you can also play Ingrid, everybody's, every Capcom fan's favourite goddess. I think she's got at least one fan besides me. A guy who actually replied to this video. <laughs> said he likes Ingrid as well. Well, I mean, Ingrid kind of comes under... I don't know, does she come under the magical girl banner? Kind of like Athena? Well, she is a goddess, technically. She's certainly old because she talks like an old lady. I'm sure we'll hear that uh, during the... Uh... Yeah, and she refers to Dew as a youngster, so... Clearly, she is not all she appears to be. But yeah, she's very much Athena. And a lot of Capcom fans have criticised her for precisely that reason. You know, saying she doesn't have any place in a, a Street Fighter game. A game where people throw fireballs out of their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, I'd not really heard of her until um, we got this game and you, you, was, you was telling me, like, this is the game that's got Ingrid in it. But she's not a... Uh... A, a, new, a new character that's just limited to this game, of course. No. Originally, I thought she was a Darkstalkers character or a vampire character, but no, she's not. That's Belair. Uh, or Baby Bonnie Hood uh, in the Western version. No, she comes from a game called Capcom Fighting Jam, which was kind of a mashup of lots of Capcom games with lots of characters from Street Fighter 2, 3. Select your character! <laughs> It's only right that you pick Ingrid, then. Your Let's have a look at this text. Uh, Ingrid, a beautiful girl gathered, gathering a wondrous aura in her silver hair. Hair. H-dropper. Mm. <laughs> uh, she was a little flustered. She had a problem that needed to be sorted quickly. An ominous dark cloud has begun to cover the world. She makes haste, aiming for its source. I have to get it back before something terrible happens. Notice Ingrid's three sizes are actually written in inch inches, not in feet and inches like the American version. <laughs> uh, that said Paul Antonio, which is in uh, Jamaica. Love that cute girl in the background now, twerking. <laughs> she reminds me of Arumi from uh, an anime called... Uh... Oh, blimey, what's it called? Uh, Maho Shoten guy, I think it is. A dead ringer for her. Maybe the person was a fan who did the background. Impossible. But yeah, Ingrid is very much a yeah, magical girl. You know, she throws kisses at you and does pirouettes. <laughs> All kinds of crazy stuff. And she's cuteness personified. Even her voice is cute. A lot of fans take issue with her for, for exactly that reason. No, I think she, you know, in a game like this, I think she fits perfectly. You know, it's it's always amusing to have a small character that can do so much damage. Yeah, I think a lot of people would have been happier if she'd been in a game like Darkstalkers because you already had plenty of cute characters in there. But to be fair, I mean, Capcom Fighting Jam, she was the original character, and the Capcom Fighting Jam wasn't the first game she was supposed to star in. She was supposed to be in a game. Before that, a 3D game, just like the Maximum Impact series. 
but the game was cancelled, you know, part way through its beta. You know, Capcom Fighting All Stars, it was called. Supposed to be like the third game in the Capcom vs. SNK series, so judging from your presence, you're funny, you. No, I'm complimenting you. <laughs> Uh, flower show ten guy. No, flower shopping district. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read the Japanese. <laughs> but yeah, Capcom, Capcom, well, Capcom fighting all stars. It was supposed to be the sequel to Capcom versus SNK two. So Capcom versus well, SNK got into financial trouble, so Capcom tried to go it alone. But they couldn't. They couldn't make a three D game work essentially, and the project was cancelled. So they switched to a 2D game, and what you end up with was Capcom, Capcom Fighting Jam or Capcom Fighting Evolution, which was a pretty crappy game. I mean, Cutting and uh, Sakura were actually in that as well, along with a load of characters from Darkstalkers, Red Earth. I mean, it, it felt rushed. It felt like the game was half finished, and it did not please Capcom fans at all. Whereas this game is uh, completely finished. I mean, I, I, you know, people go on about you know games being arcade perfect and that, but we've we've covered the the base game of uh, Street Fighter Zero Three before, and you look at the graphics on this and running on a PlayStation Portable. Right, I know we're emulating it, but it says a rematch. Mm, let me see if it's the day after tomorrow, after a day off, say. Uh, Las Vegas and Bison rather than Balrog <laughs> yeah, yeah you were uh, saying yeah you know, people talk about things being arcade perfect but I mean you know if you was to, to say this was run on main no one would, would disbelieve you because it looks exactly the same it's true and plus you've got all the extra characters as well you can play all the, all the bosses I mean the original arcade game you could play the bosses after three months basically as you play the arcade ball longer it unlocks more modes the background color indicates the mode the game's currently in it starts out gray i think and then it slowly changes color and eventually you can play everybody you can play uh, all the bosses yuri and yuni but this version included all the super street fighter 2 characters uh, as well as uh, ingrid and shin bison uh, and evil deer as well. So you could say then this is pretty much the you know we we said in the last video that we thought Zero Three was the best of the Street Fighter games, but this is like the definitive version then. It's got a ton of modes this game, and it? it's got the World Tour mode, it's got arcade mode, psycho mode, and you know, I think it had an entire page of options, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah just they, one or two. <laughs> yeah, they certainly packed in the content. It does remind me of. He gets the sunshine right in his face here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she says. She goes, sunshine. <laughs> you in your face. Or a pants shot in your face, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's like, this is my job. Forgive me. Oh, no, this is also my job. Forgive me. I can't believe my eyes. Uh, they're Quenna Spiral Tower. I don't think this is actually a real place. I looked it up on uh, Google. It might be. Because not all the places in this game are actually real places. Some of them are made up. He always gives me grief, this guy. He's stupidly fast. Yeah, he gave you grief in uh, Street Fighter 2 as well, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, I'm not as good with Ingrid as Cutting. She's a lot more technical to play. Her moves are really hard to chain. I mean, if you can get them to chain, you can get some really good combos, but... I suppose that's true with any character. you oh, chucked him up in the air there. Yeah, she's got a reversal move like Cutting's got. I haven't got a clue what she's saying in most of her quotes, you know. I mean, my Japanese is good enough to read it, but as for what she's actually saying, I can't follow it. 
my, my spoken Japanese is well. It, it, it could use some. It could use some work. Because I've spent most of my time, you know, on the written language. Well, I mean, a lot of the stuff that you, you you know you want to read and that. I mean, I remember when you bought the uh, the King of Fighters. Um, was it one of the Maximum Impact books? And you could hardly read any of it. And now you can just flip a page open, you know, two years later, and it's like, yeah, that says that, that says that, and you, you know. So yeah. I'm not going to argue with your Japanese uh, reading the, the the written language. Please wait. Don't help me play the game better. <laughs> Right, you read what the pro you read what the pros say. Oh, he got enough <laughs> fair of it in the face. Uh, it's like don't make a fuss over this, even if you don't believe it, this is the end. Funny Kibba Grotto. But not Goki this time, evil dear. Destroy, destroy everything. I thought it was here when I arrived. What, you? Where did you get that power? Looks like it's too much for you to handle, no? Silence, I'm going to destroy you too. Nothing else for it. I'll have to give him a little nudge, eh? By nudge, that means smack in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if um, if I wasn't doing these videos with you, I wouldn't bother with the Japanese versions because it would take me forever. And I know how good Google Translate isn't for doing Japanese. It's all right for if you're doing something with one kanji, but as soon as you get into a load of them, forget oh, it. Oh, straight through him. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You know, Ingrid's speech is so old-fashioned. Google Translate just like self-destructs. You know, it's like Oku. It just explodes. It can't work it out. I mean, even Deep Hell, which is about a translator. God, I got bloody that right in the face there, didn't I? You know, even uh, Deep Hell, which is about a translator, it really struggles with, well, the kind of Japanese that Cud uh, Cud Ingrid uses. Because she does speak like an old lady. She speaks like a cross between an old lady and, you know, a gangster. You know, it really <laughs> confuses the translation matrices. That's a, that's, that's a hell of a mix, an old lady and a gangster. <laughs> yeah, sometimes she will literally talk with really rough masculine speech. You know, similar to what Marissa does with uh, Marissa Desaire, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I should point out to everyone watching, that's Marissa from the Toe Project, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, she's what's known as a Baku car, because she speaks with boys' pronouns. Baku is a male pronoun for I. Girls generally use either Atachi or Atachi, but Marissa doesn't. She uses Baku. She's a Baku car. Equivalent of a, an Atemba or a Tomboy. And it's like, oh, where am I? <laughs> It's like, did you help me? Forgive me, I thank you. It appears you were being manipulated by someone. You don't happen to know the culprit. I'm annoyed it's being misused like this. So I recall, yes. I went crazy after I met a man called Vega. Mm, that guy, I have his name on my watch list, don't I? Surely if it's him, he'll find it difficult to use that thing as a toy in common parlance. Well then, farewell, dear. You should strive diligently in your training. You knew of me? Who are you? See, look, she treats him with respect there, yeah, don't she? Yep. Yeah. You know, so anyone getting upset, you know. Yeah, hotel Masters, that says. Yeah, Ken bought a, Ken bought a hotel. <laughs> yeah, that's his hotel. Well, right. Hotel Masters. I know in uh, Zero, you've actually got uh, Felicia and Morrigan in the swimming pool. With Darkstalkers. <laughs> Here, uh, well, not not this time. Yeah, Ken gives me grief. But as luck would have it, he's got Vism again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if Ken's got, you know, standard, standard, ex well, standard uh, Xism or, wait, well, Zism and this Zism, you know, it gives me, well, I'll, I'll usually lose. <laughs> That's the honest truth. Ken gives me a, a lot of grief. 
Man, I've given you a fair bit of grief with Ken over the years. Yeah, and I'm not so good with Ingrid as I am with Cardi. Yeah, Ken, he is really unpredictable. He's not like, do do stand there and just keep chucking the dog Ken's over you. Ken's all over you, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Plus, yeah, he's, he's got, got that rubber leg move as well. That really irritates me. <laughs> Yeah, when when the uh, computer's playing him, he's got a, a habit of doing a, a low followed by a medium followed by a heavy dragon punch as well. Yeah. I did get him in the first round, though, which wasn't too bad. Oh, I don't know. He is just one of them, one of them shot, he, of the shotter cans, I think he gives me probably as much grief as Garki does. <laughs> you know, Dio, not so much. Uh, Dan, well, Dan, it depends on where he is in the roster. I'm pretty sure I get him late here. Got to say again, much like the um, arcade versions, really nice music in this game. Yeah. I'm not sure if Ingrid had her own tune in this. Because I've never actually, well, played a different character. I mean, I haven't. I think I've played Cut in a little bit in this one, but I don't think I ever got Ingrid as a character. So I'm not sure if they gave her her own show. Well, if they did, you know it'll be at the end of the video. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure this goes to the wire. He gives me so much grief. I just couldn't couldn't get a combo on him. Oh, I've got that one on him, that pirouette in the face. All six of it. And he responds with his damn veism. That he hasn't used to its full advantage. Ah, got it. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like, incidentally, you, what do you think, Shatting the names of your moves? It's frankly childish, huh? So at least you don't like Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Quit the Queen of Victory, the uh, name of a ship. It's actually got a country for ship, uh, ship registry on the end. Cutting. This does not go well. This doesn't. <laughs> Cutting's pissed. It's like, oh, you got yourself a new, got yourself a new wife, for, have you? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't having that. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, if I had, a, if I had to pick between the two, I would pick Ingrid. I'm sorry, she's just more ladylike. I know she isn't. She's hundreds of years old. <laughs> I've got a really... Oh, I've showed you the model I've got of her. It's really beautifully sculpted. I mean, the cutting one's nice as well. I've got them literally next to each other, but I prefer the Ingrid one. <laughs> the cutting one did cost more, though. To be honest, it's got more detail. I mean, even the sucker, the one, the, you know, the sucker, the one I've got, is nice. Look at that! Bloody beat me in the first round. It's all right. The man servant will bandage you up. Go for broke. Yeah, she gave me a ton of grief there. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a good job the computer ain't playing Karen the way you play her. No, I mean, the thing is, I think Cutting's AI was kind of beefed up in this version, because in the arcade version, Cutting is very random in what she does. She often does really stupid things. You know, and it... Well, you can beat her easily. Damn God, reversal on me there. But it did look like I was going to lose it. He's close. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it honestly looked like I was going to lose. Ha <laughs> ha, she wasted that. <laughs> Kicked her in the face. <laughs> yeah, you only had five or six pixels left there. Yeah, that went very badly. That's all right, he gets to do it again now. <laughs> I've actually, I've actually uh, put in a commission. No, actually, I've put in a commission for a... Uh, Ninon. I asked him if he could do Ninon and Ingrid next to it. Girls in tights, isn't it? I wanted them mm. both, essentially. It's not a hentai or anything, you know, it's basically just a picture of a normal picture. I haven't heard back from him, though. Pretty expensive commission as well, 15,000 yen. That's like $150. Mm. 
But he draws really nice pictures of uh, Ingrid, so I figured I'd ask him if he could do knit on. I mean, one girl in tights is as good as another, surely. <laughs> Well, for an artist, you'd think so, wouldn't you? you win! All right, get some more text come up now, I'd imagine. It's like, ha, oh, oh, ha, oh, oh, ha, born under a bad sign, you. She out, ha, oh, ha, oh, harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Dan, at number eight. Yeah, basically Sunrise Park. It's in his damn pink. <laughs> That's what he should be in there. That's what we used to with Dan. <laughs> yeah, like he's doing his pink punch on a nut. I know, that's why she holds on to him, and she just goes doink on his oh. nose. Like, doink. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, they definitely put a lot of fault into the moves and that, because, I mean, I know the Shotokan characters are all very similar in their moves, but... You know, it's, it's the, the the level of animation and all the different stuff they've put into this. I, I just they, they just seem to have lost their way so much, Capcom, with their fighting games. Not everything has to be 3D, but that's the way everything seems to be going. Yeah, as I said in the previous video, and I mean, I don't have a problem with Street Fighter Four. I, I sat there one weekend when I was, you know, pretty pretty down with my ME, and I I literally watched every character playthroughs of every character and it's a good game it's well programmed it plays well but the unreal three and a half engine just doesn't do it for me i mean when i saw cutting in street fighter 5 it was like, oh my god look how chunky she is <laughs> you know I, I like my characters to look like ladies not like you know wrestlers <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's fine for a character like our mika you know, or even the big characters like but any of the men essentially. The men look fine, but the women they do look a little bit too well like men. <laughs> like well, she old I think I'm always saying it. <laughs> well yeah, I mean when you, you look at the way um Ingrid's drawn here, I mean she she looks like a a young girl. She doesn't look like a bodybuilder that's been necking a load of steroids, which is what the unreal three and a half engine looks like. Oh, look at that health I've got. Oh. <laughs> Beaten by right. Dan. Yeah, that didn't go well, that one. Yeah, I mean, I've got nothing against the 3D games. They are they are very good games. I mean, the Americans seem to like them. It's much like Mortal Kombat, isn't it? I mean, Mortal Kombat is a good game. It's just not my sort of game. I prefer my characters to... I, prefer my, I like Moe stuff the same as the Japanese. I like everything to look cute. <laughs> I just prefer the cartoon pixel style. I've always preferred pixel art to polygons, just the, just the way I am. You know, sometimes it can look really good, but for the most part, when it's characters like this, I think they look better when they they look like hand-drawn cartoon cells. What have we got there? Hmm, you've passed, yes. Feel honoured that you were recognised by a little me. A little old me. Well, we get Rose as our ninth character. Now, I seem to remember Rose giving you a bit of grief in games past when you've been playing with Karen, so... Well, it says, both your future and your past are all white and hazy. I cannot see them. Who on earth are you? Why are you trying to get close to Vega? You seem to have the ability to read the passage of time a little, no? In which case, you will be aware that the power that guy possesses is dangerous. That thing was our property from the start, yes? I've got to get, it, got to, get him to return it. Yours? Here and now, I cannot keep silent. Sealing this power is my mission. If you're an impediment to it, I will simply remove you. Actually, she does do that as well. She gives me grief. Yeah, uh, she always does. I'm, I'm so used to seeing um, Sakura on this, with this background. It seems really strange. Iku in uh, Scarlet Weather Rhapsody was clearly based on Rose. She's got that same drill, that same drill move where she does that with her cloth. <laughs> Definitely based on Rose. Someone pointed out the other day on the Scarlet Weather Rhapsody video I was watching that they said they were a Rose fan. <laughs> Is that that's one of the two fighting games, isn't it? Yeah, it's the second one. Right. Yeah, Iku's the character, the one with... She's probably my second most expensive model she is. I paid 92 quid for her. Bloody hell. 
which is not the dearest one. I mean, the Lamer is obviously the dearest one. But yeah, Rose is the only character that's got a custom combo, even if she hasn't got Vism. You know, she had a custom combo there. Yeah. She's the only character that can do Vism without actually having Vism. <laughs> She can also reflect your projectiles back at you and all kinds of stuff as well. Well, she's supposed to be Bison's Bison or Vega's mentor. Well, that was really close, Just that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Just, yeah. That's, yeah. that's pix, pixels in that. Yeah, I reckon there's a pixel in there. But yeah, I think Ingrid's probably the only character that could convince me to, you know, play Street Fighter Five now. I wouldn't play it for Cardi, not at all. I don't like a voice actress for one thing. I don't even like a Japanese voice actress. It's different from uh, the Zero series. Ah, she managed to knock me out of that. <laughs> that doesn't always happen. Sometimes it will go through projectiles. I'm certainly knocking you about a bit. Yeah. You see she's doing a custom combo there, but without actually having theism. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, when you uh, recorded this, you haven't actually had that many goes on it, had you? I think I had... I must have had about the same as... I think I had slightly more than cutting, actually. I think I might have had seven or eight goes. I think... Actually, I think I had about three good playthroughs. I think this was the second one. The first one wasn't so interesting, so I didn't use it. I think the third one went on too long. So I decided to go with the second one. Yeah, because I, I know um, when we when we found the game and um, we tried it out on the emulator here and then, you know, you, you tried yeah, it at home. I, <laughs> but but it, weren't, it weren't very long before uh, you, you had a video or this video up on your channel. Yeah, I practised a little bit. I, I just learned the fundamentals. I mean, I'm not great with Ingrid. I don't really understand exactly how the chain of moves together what we got here no need to worry that power is under our care even one such as vega i'll drive him back in around 15 minutes you'll see so be at ease rose you and you enjoy your life who are you even now i still cannot see your future remember me as a messenger from the heavens or something well then farewell oh so she's an angel is she <laughs> sounds like it Oh, here we go. Well, you don't get to fight uh, Uni and Uli this face time. In a military cloak. There's no mistake in the look. Rose was that. Now, Vega or whatever, dismantle your organisation forthwith and seal off your cycle power and all that. On top of that, better give that thing back. You're a thief using it without permission, yeah? That sigil of yours, bitch. You're someone with a connection to the cycle drive. Cycle? What? You're taking the liberty of naming it something shameful. You don't have the ability to master the use of that thing. Return it before you get hurt. Hey, hey, I don't care who you are, bitch. Any who oppose me, Vega, I will snuff them out. Better you scatter without so much as a trace by means of my psycho power. My, says, as if this person, his impudence, knows no bounds. <laughs> that was a bit slow there. Yeah, <laughs> it's no, trouble, that's... you know, oh. Japanese, it's very condensed. Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, I mean, um... Like, like we've said before, <laughs> if I was doing it, the condense wouldn't even come into it. Yeah, I mean, I was just thinking when Rose was on the screen there, when she's like poking a finger at you and she beats you, she says like, mother, mother, you know, not good enough. <laughs> I remember some of the quotes. I mean, I do know what some of them are saying. I know she, uh, I know uh, Bison or Vega, he says like, uh, Tanoshima Sete Marao. As in, I'm going to enjoy this. I know some of the phrases, but I, I could do with about three months' practice of the spoken. You know, just to get used to the way. He's got two of them off in that round. He did, didn't he? 
He's down to no pixels and he got a ball in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see that round, he seemed easier than Rose. Yeah. I know when she starts her round, she sometimes goes like, Hustle, hustle, as in let's hustle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know all of Ingrid's phrases because they're, they're really difficult to follow. Oh, I've got them all six there. <laughs> So she's speaking like really old, old Japanese language. I mean, would there have been anyone sort of in their teenage years that would be able to understand what Ingrid's saying? I mean, or is it something they would know? Well, I mean, it's typical manga speaking that you hear in samurai movies and all that kind of stuff. So the chances are they probably would. They probably grew up with it just like we grew up with all the comics and slang stuff over here. Yes, yes, it's over, over. Better give it back at once, that. Oh, I think you drove me, Vega, all the way to the wall. More than ever. No way I'm giving it back. The psycho driver saw some of my power. I told you already. How many times do you intend to make me tell you it was ours from the beginning? Ha ha ha. Not worth considering at all, eh? The power is gathering. An absurdly ominous power. What does she intend to do about this crisis? He's like, ha, 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 you're too late, yeah, yeah? Whenever people fear and hate, my psycho drive reacts, and it goes on giving me limitless power. This is the eternal engine of evil. No one can threaten my existence, I who have transcended even death. Do what you like, you. I'll make, I'll make sure of your end. Are those your final words? Then die! Yeah, it can't be! Me, Vega, annihilated! Impossible, impossible! Too much load on the one catalyst. This was ours from the start. It's not something ordinary people can control. Now I've eaten up an excess amount of time. I have to get back to my regular job at once. While I'm at it, I'll deal with this bothersome contraption as well. Hmm? Vega's spirit has ceased to be. Looks like it's all over, yes. I never did find out who that girl was in the end. Hmm, such and such. Next, 201X. My contact is... What the? This one is that youngster earlier. Do, isn't it? Interesting things are afoot. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, the secret site is, dis is destroyed and its leader, Vega, has disappeared off to who knows where to. The whereabouts of the girl called Ingrid who took away the psycho drive also. And she ain't been back since. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I mean, it depends on who you ask if Ingrid's canon. You know, some people at Capcom will say, yes, she is. Some will say, no, she isn't. Some will say she's appearing in Street Fighter. I'm not sure if she has actually appeared in Street Fighter 5, but I have seen knock-ups of her, her character model. Yeah. I mean, I haven't really been following it closely, so I can't comment on that. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't see um, Fei Long in this one after mentioning Bruce Lee in the last video. Yeah, I think my previous playthrough had him, and he did give me a bit of a beating, but I did beat him. But, uh, yeah, I mean, mentioning Bruce Lee, I mean, I was actually looking at uh, Bolo Young the other day. Yeah, I was just interested to see how old, how old he is. He's 74 now, but he, he, he was still winning, like... Still winning uh, awards, prizes, and tournaments and stuff in his fifties, and he was a lifelong friend of Bruce Lee as well. Yeah, you know, he actually did say that there'll never be another Bruce Lee. No, and there he, won't. And he is uh, honoured to have been his friend. Uh, when did he actually stop making films? I mean, he was uh, he was a lump, weren't he? He was. Uh, he was. He, he was, was solid. Yeah, I mean, obviously, End of the Dragon, but yeah, he was in a uh, Bloodsport with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. That's definitely a role I remember him from. Yeah. He usually plays bad guys. I've, I've actually read this. He, he actually enjoyed playing bad guys. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you get to uh, get to make all the angry expressions, didn't you, and, and, and do dirty fighting type stuff when you're playing the bad guys. But yeah, no, he's uh, 
Bolo's an absolute legend in, in martial arts films. Yeah, I mean, in real life, he is a gentle giant, you know, but he just likes playing bad guys. <laughs> It's a bit like Michael Ironside, isn't it? I mean, he is the he is the character a- character actor when it comes to bad guys. <laughs> yeah. Except for uh, Sam Fisher. Yeah, it's about the only part he's ever done the voice for where he was a good guy. You know, he splinter cell. Yeah. Yeah, it does make a change for Michael Ironside to play a good guy. So as far as PlayStation Portable games go, I don't think you've played that many, have you, other than this one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I mean, it, I mean it does... you told me about it, so. Yeah, I mean, it, it does. Well, I don't know if you've got any more in the meantime, but it does um, show what a capable uh, system that was. I mean, I, I wouldn't fancy playing this with the uh, built-in handheld controls. I think that'd be a nightmare of blisters of Titanic yeah, proportions. Yeah. But um, actually playing it with an arcade stick, which you, obviously you've done at yours and 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 round here on my cabinet, it's a it's a Seems to be quite a capable system. It's like a PlayStation 2 in your mitts, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't got any complaints with this. I think the sound might be a little bit lower quality than the arcade was, the sound effects. But the music's definitely the same. But that's, that, that's only a small nitpick. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, do what the gaming journalists do and <laughs> slag it off for something stupid. Well, no, I mean, it's, you know, if, if if all the music sounded choppy and horrible, then you'd have something to complain about. But, yeah, I, 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 I personally thought it was pretty good, having played, um, you know, the, the the arcade version of 3 and, and seeing this, because it is a nigh on the same. But, yeah, like you said earlier, the amount of game modes in it is ridiculous. Yeah, you certainly want... It does remind me of... Uh... Maximum Impact 2. You know, you got your main game, but then you got a ton of extra, ton of extra, well, modes. It certainly keep you, keep you going for a while. But I'm pretty sure the PlayStation version had uh, quite a few modes as well. They had the World Tour and stuff like that, where you can fight like four characters at once and, you know, crazy stuff like that. You, almost like an RPG, you know, every time you win a battle, it gives you some of your health back. And then it allows you to choose like an extra ability, like auto blocking or maybe a bit of extra power. And each time you win a fight, you can spend more points to make your character stronger. And by the end of the game, you're like fighting four characters at once. <laughs> it is a bit like uh, Maximum Impact 2, weren't it? Where you went through the entire roster of 200 characters. You know, and every time you went, every time you won a battle, you, well, every time you won 10 battles, usually, there's a kumite, essentially you would get points that you could spend on more power, you know, more health, you know, maybe an extra life. So if you do lose a battle, you know, you can continue rather than it just being game over. I actually did that as well, didn't I? The Kumi Tech took two hours with mm. Nid on. I don't think I could do it now. Yeah, <laughs> well, 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 you know, if we want to do that at some point, we've, we've got your video, so you haven't got to do it again. At least you've got a recording of it. Oh, I don't think we can use that one. I'm pretty sure it's the pants one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the uh, skirtless one. That is. I'm, I'm, we might be. Only, I think we've already got three lined up, ain't we? We've got all the uh, ones that haven't got the patch applied. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll I know some people would probably appreciate it, but yeah, well, you know me. I like to show the games as 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 they were intended. But yeah, so that is. Um... Street Fighter Zero Three Double Upper on the uh, PlayStation Portable. So, thanks for uh, coming on again and showing us one of your playthroughs. You didn't make that one look quite so easy in places. You got kicked in a couple of times. Yeah, but... cutting, cutting, Dan. They were all giving me serious grief. <laughs> Ken drove me to the wire. Yeah, I think two characters took me to the wire, didn't they? Ken and Ken and Cutting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, cheers, mate. Thanks for coming on again. Yeah, not a problem. And until the next video, thank you very much for watching and laters. Yeah, laters.